Okay, should you feel like you need validation? What do you think? No. All right. And he said no. All right, well, keep watching to find out the whole story. Hi, my name is Courtney and welcome to my channel. I am Courtney and today I have my husband that is in red. Tell him your name, baby. It is Eddie Dog. Eddie Dog. Why are you squeezing my arm so hard? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. But before we get started, I want to tell you what this channel is about. This channel is about positive love, positive light, and positive energy. And I love to always convey that on this channel so that you can know what this channel is about. So we talk about different topics like relationship, you know, uh, real life stuff that happens in our lives on a daily basis. That's what we want to convey on this channel. And we hope that we give you some kind of insight and we and you walk away from this channel saying, man, I feel better about myself and I feel better about my decision. Today's topic as we talk about validation. All right. So you said you don't have to be validated. You don't need validation. Are you talking Tell about us why. Are you talking about validation from other people? Yeah. No. You know, if you look in the mirror and that person in the mirror looking back at you validates you, meaning yourself, that's all you need. You know, you don't need to put your feelings in you and your mindset and your emotions in other people's hands. I never believed in that. You know, to me, you're giving people too much power over you. You're going to go around here saying, well, I need people to tell me how good I am, how I look. You need validation of other people to make yourself feel better. Why? I understand some people need that, but I, I, never, I never was a believer in that. Okay. So that's good. So let me tell you why I wanted to get into today's topic. And you may already know that this has been trending on the internet, social media, so forth and so on. But Aisha Curry, which is Steph wife, Steph Curry's wife, his wife made a statement on the Red Table Talk with Jada Pickett. And she said that, you know, she feels some type of way that her husband basically is getting a lot of attention and, and has been getting a lot of attention and sometimes um, from fans, from female fans. And sometimes she had to make a statement as, you know, hey, I'm here, I'm the wife, excuse me. She had to insert herself in sometimes when the women kind of get caught up, you know, or whatever with her husband. And so she doesn't, she doesn't get that same you know, uh, looks the same, ah, uh, the same, you know, feeling that her husband gets from the female. She didn't get that from guys. And she just kind of wants to know, you know, do I still have it? You know, am I still attractive? Am I still popping or what? Or, or am I just under that label of being Steph Curry's wife? You know, do is, is, is that the deal? So that's why I wanted to bring this, you know, on this channel and kind of talk about it. Well, first of all, He's an athlete. He's an NBA star, so of course <clears throat> he's gonna get a lot of attention from females and some guys. Well, guys too, cause sports fan. But he's in the limelight. I you know. And no. Let me say this now. I think that she also. Well, I know she also. She has her own um, cookbook, if I'm not mistaken. She does a lot of things as well. So you know. First of all, when did she start a cookbook? After she got with uh, Steph Curry or before? You know, they've been together since they were teenagers. But, of course, after Steph became, you know, well-known, she That's, started doing things. There you go. You know, she, uh, you know, no shade towards her. But she started that after Steph became famous. Right. Okay, so, some, so her success is contributed from him. Right. So, but, you know, he's in the limelight. He's a NBA all-star. Of course, he's going to get all that attention, and she, you know, you know, why she need validation from other guys to see if she still got a popping or not? Okay, so uh, you, that's why I don't understand. Okay, you say that. 
So is it fair to say that sometimes even when men or women, we get a little older and sometimes we just kind of want to see, let me tell you how people do if they got it or not. They are sometimes post a random picture on social media to see if they get the comments, if they get the likes, if they get all of this kind of attention. So we have to look at that today as, okay, there are ways that you can get that kind of validation because one thing about Aisha Curry is that she don't dress provocative. She always has kind of like a conservative look. And so she's not gonna get that attention from the guys and people are saying because they respect STEM, so, well, not necessarily, not to me, it's because she's not looking thottish. Yeah, that could be it, you know, and, and some people probably do respect STEM enough not to disrespect him like that with his wife, you know? And, uh, but, yeah, the bottom line, she's not showing no skin, okay? She's not being what you call it, validation. Well, a person feel like they need validation. In my opinion, I understand, to be honest, I understand what she was trying to say. You know, just to say, you know, am I still attractive? You know, am I pushed back into my husband's um, shadows and nobody recognizes me for, you know, my talent or recognize me as just being an individual? So I think because they've been together for so long and... I'm guessing he was working toward his career as an athlete and his father is an athlete. It's just like she's always kind of been in that shadow and so forth and so on. But I understand what she's saying. But I don't think that, you know, she needs to come out of anything that she's doing. I think she is a, a beautiful, attractive um, woman. And I did not know she was so young until she opened her mouth and talked. I said, well, the baby is still young. And even though she's in her 30s, but still to me, that's young. And so she just kind of like looking for that validation. But I hope that, you know, uh, that she gets it within and don't start, you know, posting seductive pictures or doing anything to kind of, you know, say I want attention. Because that's what I hate. I hate when people, especially if you're married, start posting seductive pictures because you're looking for some kind of validation or you're looking for some kind of attention that you may not be getting from your spouse or even if you're getting it, it's something that's within you. I somewhat agree with you, but you know, when, when it comes to her, she should have known when still got big how the lifestyle was going to be. Well, she probably didn't know to the full degree of, of course you're going to look at the money and success, but they were still young. They've been together since I understand that, but as soon as this month blows up, that spouse will be put in the shadows. Yeah. That's part of it. But I agree. I agree with you in the beginning. Nobody needs to validate you. You should already come with your own validation. You should know who you are. You should allow Christ to validate you on the inside and say that you have been accepted in the beloved and you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and you shouldn't have to do anything outside of that as far as getting attention from men. Because if you start getting attention, you may not like the attention that you get. Mm, and they true. may be very disrespectful. And they may not, mm. they may treat you like you're crap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't want that type of attention. Sometimes you got to be, be careful with your acts for them. Yeah. I agree, you know, but... It takes a strong-minded person to walk their own path. Okay, sometimes you got to do that. Don't be a, a follower. Be a yeah, leader. Yeah, yeah you sure. know, you don't have to be accepted by this clique to feel like you belong or right. you validate yourself. You, you know, like like you said, you know, Christ already validated you. So just walk your path. Have be strong and uh, just just know Jesus, Jesus loves you. You don't need to be validated by other people. And, you know, that's what's wrong society now, especially with social media. You got to get all the likes. You got to get the comments. Right. Oh, I'm not getting enough likes, so I got to show a little bit more skin. Uh, I got to, you know, I got to get more thottish. Mm -hmm. I got to make it shake harder because I got to get more likes and right. more comments. And, you know, and... It's a form of insecurity. Right, it is. So you got to get security from people you don't know. You don't know. Wow. So you just, you know, just look in the mirror, 
and you thank God for you being here and you just allow that to be your validation. Made me mad now. All right. I tell you, I flipped it over. Flip. You know, Jesus <laughs> flipped over and went through the temple and started beating them up at the temple. So, there you go. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, I hope you guys, again, like I said, I hope you guys are not looking for anybody to validate you because Christ has already done that. So, you are loved. You are accepted. You are a chosen child of Christ. So, all I got, baby, what about you? That's it, baby. All right. So I hope you guys go and watch the rest of these videos that I'm going to put after this video. Okay. And I don't know, but I'm going to edit all of it. Yeah. Prep it down. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you about to hit me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. As I always say, go with God and let God go with you. All right. I'm out, babe. What about you? Deuces. Deuces. Bye, y'all. Mwah.